Hello team and welcome to today's Excel video where we're going to be taking a look at how to use conditional formatting to color code cells within your spreadsheet to let you know when the due date has passed, the due date is approaching, or you have plenty of time before the due date arrives based off of today's date. In my example project spreadsheet, I also have a reminder email column set up so that you can click to send reminder emails to the project owner. Take a look at my video on this topic if you're interested in learning how to set these up. Let's jump in. We're gonna be applying three conditional formatting rules for our project due date range of cells. To begin, highlight the range of cells, go to conditional formatting and select new rule. Select the option at the bottom to enter a formula. Within the formula bar, we'll click our first cell where conditional formatting will be applied, cell D2. But let's remove the absolute reference before the two or the dollar sign so that our function carries down correctly. Let's start by applying conditional formatting to the project due dates that are past due. For this, I'll enter the less than symbol and set that less than to today. Using the format option, I'll go to the fill tab and set this equal to a light red fill. I'll click OK, OK again, and you see our conditional formatting has been applied correctly. This project is past due based on today's date, and so the red fill has been applied. To set up the next rule, I'll highlight the range of cells again, go back to conditional formatting, and choose new rule. Again, we'll enter a function. In the function bar, I'll again and click the first cell and remove the absolute reference for the row number. This time I'll set this less than or equal to the today function plus 15 days. We'll give these cells a light yellow fill, click OK, and you'll notice this function was applied correctly for the second project, but it also color coded the first project. This is because of the order of rules we have within conditional formatting. To fix this, we can head back to conditional formatting with our cells highlighted and select manage rules. Click the second rule with the red highlight and use this up arrow to make it the first priority and then click apply and OK. And you'll see now our rules are being applied in the correct order. Finally, for our projects that are due in greater than 15 days, we'll head back to conditional formatting and new rule, enter a function. Again, we'll remove that absolute reference and set this greater than today plus 15 days. We'll give these cells a light green color fill, click OK, and you see our formatting is working correctly. Remember team, you can always go back to conditional formatting and select manage rules and make sure these rules are applied in the correct order if the formatting isn't working. And keep in mind, we used a 15 day threshold here for projects coming due soon or due in the future, but you could change these dates to whatever works best for you. Team, I hope you enjoy these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.